Right, we'll go back. So this is going to be amazing. Twins, Christian and Carla Buertas from Help Macar College, the class of 2021, have obtained, listen to this, 24 distinctions between the two of them. Okay, that, that is absolutely insane. So in the Buertas household this morning, yes. 24 <laughs> distinctions. Well, you know, we absolutely privileged to be joined uh, by the twins via Zoom to have a chat about their achievements. Uh, Christiana and Carla, good morning and welcome to Morning Live. Thank you very much. Good morning. Oh, congratulations, guys. I actually just saw your mom keep her head <laughs> through the door uh, maybe about a minute ago. <laughs> How is it? I'm not even going to ask you how you're feeling. How is your mother feeling? Your, your mother must be so relieved and over the moon for the two of you. I think her biggest feeling is pride. I think she's very proud of us. She's very happy for us. So I think that's the biggest thing at the moment. Yeah. And you guys, are you proud of yourselves? I mean, I, I can only imagine you are. Extremely. It's everything we hope for. Um, we're extremely happy at the moment. <laughs> So you say it's everything you hoped for, everything you worked for. Um, was this always the plan? Uh, did you set out to do as well as you did, the both of you? Uh, well, in grade 11, I definitely set out for this. I wanted 13 distinctions and I also wanted to get books. And then start of matrix, I added uh, 14 subjects. But that was definitely my goal at the start of matrix. Wow. And Carla, for you? For me, it sort of just happened along the way. I took subjects that I really enjoyed, and then at the end, I had 10 subjects, and then I just continued with them all the way. Oh, my gosh. So both of you got a full house in terms of every subject you took, you got a distinction for. Yes. <laughs> So, so, so how does this happen? And I'm looking at the board behind you and it all looks so ordered <laughs> and yeah, I, I kind of get a sense that, you know, there was a clear plan, probably a timetable. Talk to us. How do you achieve 14 distinctions and one of the subjects you took up in matric, Christian? Um, well, it's just really understanding how the academic process works and how the schools handles assessments. Um, but the school prepared us very well for the final IB um, papers, but it's just absolutely being as prepared as you possibly can be and then just studying, putting the hours behind the books is yeah. what really matters. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the reality, is it? I mean, you've, you've got to put the work in and it's a lot of yeah. work that goes into it. Uh, uh, in, in terms of the amount of studying and the hours that you do put into it, what was it like? I, I mean, are you, are you both sort of, studying together or do you study separately do you disappear for hours on end what does your timetable look like um well we never studied together it's um i think we study quite differently so we each just keep to our own while we study um but it's long hours we come home from exams and it's immediately starting for the next day because the schedules normally don't really allow for off days with all the subjects so it's just get home, study for probably eight hours, go to bed, write exam the next morning and just on repeat for four weeks. Uh, Kara, is there, is there a bit of sibling rivalry or um, are, you, uh, are you the chilled one? Are you like, ah, Christian, do your thing. I'm, I'm just going to do what I'm doing here. <laughs> there is some sibling rivalry, but mostly between Christian and my older sister. I'm the chill one. I kind of got that chilled vibe from yeah, you. Yeah, she is. Yeah, let, let him, let, let him yeah. do this. So, so wait, there's another sister involved in all of this. So your older sister, she's obviously in university. Is she studying? Is she done? Yeah, she's now third year university at Pretoria. And was she also one of those, one of those distinction kind of, of, yes, of students? she got 11 distinctions. <laughs> what does your mother feed you? I mean, I just want to yeah, take yeah, some yeah. What do you guys eat for <laughs> breakfast? Do you eat? Let's what start do you with breakfast so that we can <laughs> help people here. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. So, okay, uh, between, between the two of you, I mean, obviously we know 24 distinctions. Who obtained the highest mark? What was the highest mark between the two of you? Uh, I think my aggregate was 93 for the finals now. <laughs> that's brilliant. That, was that is absolutely incredible. I mean, that's very little room for mistakes there for the 93% uh, aggregate. See, I don't know because what do teachers do with you? Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, do they have to do a lot of teaching or are you just those kids like the teacher says something and you're like, ah, I got it. Uh, how does it work? Um, Carla, you first and then Christian. 
So I'm very much more, I'm involved in class and I, I quite need my teachers, so especially such as like math and accounting. My teachers are very important to me. I'm not the person that just gets it and then get full marks for a subject like that. It's, there's a lot of effort that goes into it. Uh, mine was, I got very special treatment from all the teachers, especially because I didn't attend most of the classes. But they were very accommodating towards me. It was never strict with homework or classwork. It was just keeping up with the assessments. Um, that was all that mattered to them. Well, why weren't you attending? Was it a was it a COVID thing? Were you studying from home? Was uh, it just too many too many you subjects? You can only fit you can only fit eight subjects into the timetable. Uh, so I had about I had five that I had to do in school time, but I couldn't. And then there was one which was afternoons. Wow, but that was fine. Guys, let's talk COVID. I mean, because this is this is a reality. I mean, these have been, it's not just this last 2021 year, it was 2020 as well. So, you know, that's grade 11 and 12 for you guys online. Did you find that you actually, you could focus more? Was that, was that a turning point for you? For me, I definitely struggled with COVID, with online learning. I'm not someone who's good at math or accounting, so I definitely need to be in class with teachers who can give me some one-on-one -on -one attention. And that was with COVID, I was really lacking that. Yeah. Um, I'd probably say the worst thing was just being able to pay attention in class. It's difficult when you have your phone in your hand uh, sitting at a computer to still keep paying attention, especially if the work's not that difficult for you. Um, but studying on my own was... <laughs> <laughs> well, Imagine. evidently, you don't need all of that, Christian. <laughs> you just different kind, yeah. But I have to ask, um, in terms of any other extracurricular activities, um, and of course there was COVID, um, did you have much time for anything other than studying? I dropped most of my other activities at the start of grade 11. It was kind of with scaling up to 13 subjects and then COVID, it, everything just kind of... I just dropped everything else. I still had enough social activities, but it was basically just the social life and studying. Sure. Thank you. Because that was going to be my question. Please tell me the two of you have a social life. Because that, that is important. You're such gorgeous looking kids. I hope you went and had a little bit of fun in your final years. A social life? Are you allowed yeah. to add that in? Definitely. Yeah, no. Especially vacations, it was... Um, was the main time for that, but we still had a bit during the service. Brilliant. My last question, I know we've got to start wrapping. What next? What are you, what yeah, are you both going to be studying? To. So for me, I'm going to be studying somatology next year at Isa Parsons in Pretoria. Brilliant. And I'm going to be studying mechatronic engineering at Stellenbosch. What's that? <laughs> it's a combination of mechanical and electrical engineering. Wow. Throw we, something else in yeah, there. Come we on, we don't expect anything different. No. But guys, yeah. <laughs> absolutely an honor speaking to you. And uh, congratulations once again and wish you well. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Well done. Well done to the British twins from Help Macar College. Wow. 24 distinctions between the two of them. Um, 35 if you take the uh, sisters 11. Okay. So, uh, I mean, this household is just teeming with distinctions. Can we talk to the mother? I just want to have the mother. Yeah, the man. Well, I, I also wanted to say something to mom, but, but, but it looked like the twins were not having that like mom. No. Stay away. But <laughs> hey. Mommy was, yeah, no, mom, mom popped in and she popped straight out. But listen, this is a Congratulations to all of you. Well done to those um, IB matriculants that have passed and done very, very well. I mean, I've been looking at my kids school results they've been blowing the lights out i am just so excited for yeah. my nephew wrote he did well so all of you i i well done and if you didn't do as well as you wanted to don't worry it's not the end of the year not the it's end of the tough. world no it congratulations is. The year, everybody the the world. we have right. to go <laughs>